Hey, I'm Jim Harmer for Backfire. This is going to be a quick video on how to use a clay pigeon thrower. I'm going to take you from 101 up to like 103. Your clay pigeon fits in here. You'll just squeeze it in. And a lot of people when I see throwing it are throwing it backwards. They're throwing it like a frisbee and you're going to throw it forearm with the wobble side to the back. It's supposed to kind of go with you and kind of wobble it out to kind of give it a little bit more throw. So you're throwing it like this, not like this. Okay. Then the real trick to this, <laughs> it's dangerous to stand next to somebody who's learning clay pigeon for the first time. Because what they'll do is, they'll put arm into this thing and get around, but they won't whip their wrist. And if you don't whip your wrist, that clay pigeon is not coming out, especially if it's a new pigeon thrower that's kind of tight. And so what you see is the, thro the sh shooters right there, they don't whip their wrist and they just go like this and it, BAM! Right in the face! I've seen it happen. And so when you're new to clay pigeon, you kind of want the shooter a little bit back from you uh, and to the side. Just make sure they have a good aim of fire so you're obviously not standing in front of the gun. But just be careful, one, taking one of these to the face wouldn't be fun. Alright, so the trick is the whip. You do not need to put that much arm into it as long as you whip your wrist when you get down there. So we'll put just a little arm into it and whip the wrist. This is what it looks like. That's really all it takes. So we're putting it in, coming back in slow motion. We're coming and whip the wrist right there. All right, here we go. Now the easiest clay to throw for somebody who's new to shotgun is straight out in front of you because then they don't even have to worry about a lead. They can just put their pin, put their bead right on it. And so if you turn your body, almost straight to where you're throwing, that's probably where it's going to go. Usually somebody who's new to the clay pigeon thrower, if you're right-handed, they're going to go way left every time because they're not whipping the wrist enough. So we'll turn the body a little bit and we'll whip the wrist just like that. Now, once you've mastered that and you can kind of control it where this thing's going, we have some of the basics. I want to show you a few different variations. I would rather hit clay pigeons thrown by hand than any thrower on the market. The throwers are more powerful, they're more consistent, it's a perfect throw every time, but that's not a realistic hunting situation at all. When have you ever seen a perfect bird, right? They're, they're scattering around, running from the dog, they're doing whatever, and it's just more fun. You can get so much variability when you're good at throwing a clay pigeon. So the next thing I would do when you want to challenge somebody a little bit is just you physically come down and you're whipping it up a little bit. The trick is you have to have a flat release. So even if you're coming down up like this, it's got to be flat when you throw. If when you throw, it ends up like this, that clay pigeon's going to dive down. I'm going to throw this wrong and you'll see what happens when you're not flat. See how it's dying down like that? It's not a flat throw. It's got to be flat no matter what you're doing with your body. So now we'll throw that properly. We're going to have a flat throw, but I'm going to come down and up. And you'll see the clay kind of go, and it has kind of a skip up when you do it. It kind of hits a different plane. Here we go. There. See how it's flat the whole time? It doesn't dive on one side or the other. That's a fun clay to shoot. The next one we'll do is kind of a cut in. So this time we're not going to throw totally flat, but it's going to be the opposite of what you would expect. We're going to throw it cut, kind of cut in like this. So you'll kind of find it has just a little bit of a curve as it's going going out. But see, then it flattens out afterward. So we're throwing it in like this, and because we're throwing inside, it'll kind of come up like this and then flatten out at the end. It's not just dive bombing. That's not a very fun clay to shoot. I mean, the hardest clay you could possibly hit is where somebody just throws tomahawk style straight up like that, because that clay is falling down so fast and going out. That's tough. You got to really lead a clay like that. Okay, next one I want to teach you is doubling two clays like this. Not that hard to, to throw two at once. Just put them one on top of the other like that. Trick is you got to make sure you're super flat as you're doing it and you'll throw a perfect double. All right, last thing I want to teach you is when you really want to trick somebody out, uh, we're going to throw what we call a donut. And this, we'll put the clay in here first. Sometimes they break when this happens. We'll see how we do. You just lightly tap, tap, tap. Tap out that middle, and when you throw it, 
it will kind of go out for flat for a little bit and then vroom, all of a sudden dive down. They're really f a fun clay to hit. So there are a few tips on how to throw with the clay pigeon thrower. If you do the two things right, you whip that wrist as hard as you can and your level, you got it done.